Hi guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and today I'm going to be showing you how you would solve an algebraic fraction when you're using addition or subtraction. So here you can see for this question we actually have subtraction but it would make no difference at all. The process would be exactly the same if this were to be addition. So the rule that we use is up, up, bottom boys. Now I'll explain what that means. It means we draw three arrows, up, up, and one connecting the bottom boys. So three arrows, up, up, bottom boys. And what you do then is you start with the first number in the first fraction, which is five, and then you follow the arrow along and you can see it's connected to four. So we multiply it by four. Then that's our first up arrow done. We move on to our second up arrow. We start with the next part of the next fraction. So we have x multiplied by what it's connected to, 2x plus 1. That's our second up arrow done. Then we move on to the bottom boys. So we draw a line to put them on the bottom. So we have 2x plus 1 is joined up to 4, as we can see with our arrow in blue. So 2x plus 1 was connected to 4, so we multiply them. And that's our bottom boys done. And the final thing we're missing is just to add in the sign that we're given in our question, which was the subtraction sign. Now we just multiply everything out. So 5 times 4 is 20 minus x by 2x is 2x squared and minus x by plus 1 is minus x. All over 4 by 2x gives us 8x and 4 by 1 is plus 4. And all we can do here is just reorder our answer to make it look a bit neater. So we're used to seeing our x squared first. We'll put minus 2x squared first, then our x, minus x, then our number, plus 20, all over 8x plus 4. And that's how you use algebraic fractions using addition and subtraction.